Hello again everyone, I'm Steve Venner, GE0TAN, and today I'm going to give you an introduction into Yesu's lovely little shack-in-a-box radio, the FT991. Before I start doing that, however, what uh, some of you may have already seen, some other videos on the internet where people have been giving some comparisons with this and other radios. I'm not going to do that because uh, there's no point, you can see it elsewhere. What I'm going to show you is basically what the radio is about and how easy it is to operate. So that's what I'm going to be doing and that you won't find on the other um, videos. So basically what's the radio about? Um, first off it's a multi-mode radio. It covers HF, 6 meters, VHF and UHF. 100 watts on both uh, HF and 6 meters and 50 watts on uh, both VHF and UHF. Uh, the size is around 9 inches wide, it's about 10 inches deep, and it's about 3.5 inches high. If you put the bail arm, it's about another inch and a half on top of that, so it's pretty good. The weight's around about 4.5 kilos, uh, which is about 10 pounds in old money, so if you're thinking about doing it for a mini de-expedition, it's a great little rig for doing that. It has a, a very fast internal ATU as well, so um, which will actually match um, antennas with a about three to one SWR, same as pretty much any other Yesu or any other manufacturer's internal ATU. So that's good. A couple of things that we really like about this radio: um, it's the first HF radio which actually has a colour touchscreen display. Um, that's one good thing. There's a couple of other radios out there that have touchscreen displays, other non-HF radios which also have uh, colour touchscreen displays, but this is the first HF one. The other thing that we really like about it, and we think it's going to be a really big hit with customers, is the fact that it supports Yesu's C4FM protocol. Uh, the, the mode of operating. So it's compatible with Yesu's system fusion repeaters and all their other things. So uh, that's going to be a, a great selling point for this radio, which we really, really enjoy. So what I'm going to show you first is the front, front panel. Um, it's very similar uh, styling to the FTDX 1200, the FTDX uh, 3000. It's just a cut down version. Um, and one of the ways they've managed to get it so small, uh, so compact, is a lot of the functionality that are on the other radios are now on the touchscreen display. So basically what we have here is the on-off button, we have the CW uh, Morse key input, the headphones and the mic input as normal. The display, which I'm going to talk to you about very shortly, uh, is there, that's a touchscreen display. Uh, then you have the buttons down here is the function button and memory list if you've got any memory set up. Then you have the menu and basic setup button, the band button, mode button, and there's a generic, um, what they call a multi-function knob here, which uh, works in all sorts of modes, which I'll tell you very briefly about in a second. General A and B VFO swapping, um, recall store of memories, internal ATU tune button, uh, what else we've got there? We've got the custom set button and the TXW, which is if you're working split. Uh, that's the one so you can actually monitor your TX uh, output channel before you transmit. Again, fast and lock uh, for uh, the VFO, main VFO knob obviously, clarifier, which is controlled by this knob up here. Uh, VFO stroke memory button, um, if you want to stick any um, the VFOs into memory you can press this button here and that's your split button. Over here we have the clarifier or VFO B button, uh, knob sorry, RF gain control here and the volume control is um, as you can see is there. So that's the front panels. Now um, obviously if you want to change modes, you want to change bands, there's no none of that on this radio. So what you do is say, look, what we're going to do now is say change bands. Press the band button and it comes straight up on the touchscreen display. You have all the normal amateur bands here. You have a dedicated air, ba air band button, touchscreen on here there. Uh, medium wave band and if you want to, you've got a general coverage button here if you're just doing general coverage receive. 2 meters, 70 sems, and if you want to enter a specific frequency, just hit enter and you can go 20, enter, and away you go. And it didn't like that because I was trying to put it to 204 megs, didn't like that at all. So what else do we have on the display? We have here, um, the bottom row is the generic buttons or touch, touch buttons, if you like, which will be there all the time. So you can have the meter. At the moment, the meter is set to the VDD. You can power output, 
uh, ALC, SWR, so you've got all those, you just cycle through it like before. This button is the RF power, so at the moment we're set to quite low, and then once you've selected that, you can turn it, turn the multifunction knob away you go, and back down again. Similarly with the mic gain. Now, the way we have this display set up at the moment is that we have it set, set in scan mode, um, so we want to scan the bands. Um, you just press it once, and it'll do one sweep. Press it again, it'll do another sweep. If you want to continually sweep, press and hold it and then it continually sweep, and now you can see the activity on the bands. There is a station there at the moment, which we can listen to later on. You want to stop. The, pr the problem when it's continually sweeping, there is no audio. So if you, once you've done that a few times and you've got a little uh, picture of what's happening on the bands, just press the sweep button again, and then you get the audio back. And then what you can do, using the main VFO, you can actually tune to any of the peaks, like there's one just there, hopefully. Yeah, it's some sort of noise, but uh, it does auto auto scan as well when you start going out of uh, the band. Okay, so that's that. Now, if you want to change modes, uh, again, very similar, like the band button, you press the mode button, um, and then you have the USB, uh, LSB, AM, FM. There's your C C4 FM button. That you, can, uh, that you can press, and all these other ones are for data modes. So that's very, very simple, very, very easy to use. Now, there's a couple of other things here that you want to try and use. So if you want to come out of that, come back out of mode, you're back into the, the standard screen. You have up here the function buttons. These, if you press it once quickly, um, you can scan through these. So you've got your squelch control. Uh, you have the next screen, squelch off. You have a mute button. Uh, some of these are the ones that are greyed out that you can see on here. They're specific for um, the digital mode. So if you were to enable a digital mode, they will be then highlighted. So then you've got the other ones. You have, uh, that's memory, uh, more memories. Uh, then you have your noise blanker, AGC. So it's all there, things that you don't touch all the time, but they're very easily accessed. So that comes back out of that, back into the standard screen. Now like the other models, the FTDX 1200, the FTDX uh, 3000, the menu system, again, is if you press that button, it's very, very similar to the operation. You can go down, there's about 140 different options you can set on here. Um, you don't have the navigation key like you do on the other radios. You just highlight the one that you want to change, press select, change it with the main VFO, hit enter, and you're done. Easy, power output, anything like that. Um, and that's, that's basically it, as far as operating is concerned. It's very, very simple, very, very easy to use. So uh, I'm going to show you next uh, the, what's on the back. It's very little stuff, nothing too much on there. So uh, I'll just turn the radio around and we can see. Okay, so this is the back panel. Uh, as you can see, it's, not, it's sparsely populated. There's not too much on there. You basically have your VHF, UHF antenna port, um, HF and 6 meter antenna port, the, the standard uh, four pin DC power cord. Along the bottom, you have your RITI data port, same, on, same as like on the FT85, 7, 8, 9, 7, things like that. Uh, tuner linear port. Uh, then you have your GPS CAT port. Um, this unit can actually take in GPS signals, and that can be for, from either another Ye GPS enabled Yesu radio, such as the FTM 400, or if you have another GPS unit that has serial, uh, serial protocol, and uh, you can connect that data uh, direct to that port there, configure it in the menu system, and you can start sending out GPS data when you're in digital modes, things like that. Um, you can also use the CAT port uh, to control the radio. You can also use the CAT port to update the firmware. Now, if you are not, don't have a um, serial port like that, if uh, m most modern laptops, computers only have USB, you also have a USB port here. The USB port can also be used for controlling the radio via suitable software, such as Ham Radio Deluxe. Uh, you can also use it for updating the firmware, and it does pass audio. So you can use it as like a, it's got an inbuilt sound card. You can use it for doing PSK31 um, and uh, other data modes like that. Uh, the only other two things on there are the external speaker and the remote ALC socket, if you're running a linear, linear amplifier. So that's it. Uh, obviously, it's a cooling fan that you can see there. That's all you have. 
Something that I'd also like to demonstrate to you today is, again, it's something that impresses us quite a lot about this radio, is how good, how good quality the audio is. It's really sharp, nicely defined. Um, let's see if we can see something on here. If I turn the volume up a little bit, see if we can hear anything. Let's see what happens here. Oh, here we go. If you're still there. There we go. Um, there we have a little French station. Okay, go on, say something else. It's a really nice, defined, very uh, a lot of presence there. So that's for such a small radio, the audio quality is superb. There we go. That's a very brief overview of Yesu's FT991. Um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Um, hope you found it a little bit informative. I would say before I go, um, just to let you know, we at Martin Lynch, we really like this radio. Um, a couple of us have had a chance to take it home, play with it and things like that. And because of the, uh, its compact size, because of the colour touchscreen, uh, the ability to work with Yesu System Fusion, um, we really believe that Yesu are on to a winner with this radio. If you like this video, and you found it interesting, and you feel that you really might like one of these, just go either go onto our website um, or contact one of our sales staff and I'm sure they'll give you a really good deal. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact any of the sales staff, or if you've got some technical questions that you have, ask for, ask for Steve, that's me. Um, I'm the only one here, so there's no other Steves to, to get confused with. Um, and all else I've got, the only other thing I've got to say is thank you very much for watching. Excellent, thank you.